companies go to great lengths investing significant time and money to ensure their website visitors have the best browsing experience possible. One crucial aspect of website aesthetics is the representation of text. No matter how excellent your content may be, if it's difficult to read or visually cluttered, all your hard work go in vain. Fortunately, there are various typographic options available, but we have an easy solution for you. By utilizing Google Fonts with your WordPress website, you can access hundreds of professional fonts for free. In this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of adding Google Fonts to your WordPress site manually. Additionally, I will introduce you to the Easy Google Fonts plugin, which simplifies the process even further. Plus, I will share some of the best fonts that can significantly enhance the readability of your website's content. What are WordPress Google Fonts and why should you use them? Let's take a quick look at what Google Fonts are and the key benefits of using them on your WordPress website. Google Fonts is a library of free licensed fonts that was launched back in 2010. By making a simple API call, you gain access to an incredible selection of 877 web-optimized fonts all for free. That's truly really remarkable. The library also features an interactive web directory where you can easily search for specific font types and even test them out directly in your web browser. Using Google Fonts with WordPress comes with a host of advantages. Firstly, they are completely free to use, even for commercial projects. Secondly, these fonts are pre-hosted, so they won't consume any of your server's resources. And thirdly, they are downloadable, which means you can also use them in print materials. It's worth noting that a vast number of websites are already leveraging the power of Google Fonts in their WordPress setups, and all modern themes support the use of these fonts. If you are ready to give your website's typography a fresh new look with these user-friendly web fonts, all you need to do is find the right fonts and integrate them into your WordPress website. However, keep in mind that fonts alone won't have the desired impact. You also need an appealing theme for your website to captivate and engage your users. Luckily, WordPress offers a wide range of top-notch themes that can greatly enhance the overall user experience. How to add Google Fonts to WordPress manually? Google Fonts is here to make your life easier. It simplifies the process of embedding font families into your website, taking away most of the heavy lifting. Google Fonts functions as an online library that can be easily called into any web project, just like any other JavaScript or CSS script. In this section, I will guide you through the process of manually installing Google Fonts on your WordPress website. By following these steps, you will be able to effortlessly integrate beautiful and professional fonts into your site. So let's dive in and learn how to add Google Fonts to your WordPress website manually. Step 1. Find the font you want to add to your website. Now that we understand the basics, let's explore how to choose the perfect font for your site. To get started, head over to the Google Fonts directory. There, you will find a wide range of fonts to choose from. If you already have a specific typeface in mind, simply use the search box in the right sidebar to locate it quickly. To make your search even more efficient, you can use the filtering option provided. Filter fonts by category, languages, number of styles, thickness, slant, and width. This allows you to narrow down your choices based on your specific requirements. For example, if you are looking for fonts with small lines attached to the end of the letter strokes like Times New Roman or Courier, you can select the serif category. On the other hand, if you prefer fonts without those little lines such as Helvetica and Roboto, you can opt for the sans serif category. If you are in the need of fonts specifically designed for large text like titles, check out the display font category. For a more handwritten and artistic feel, explore fonts like Pacifico. And if you are looking for fonts with consistent spacing across all characters, you will find options like Source Code Pro. With these handy categorizations and filtering options, you can easily find the perfect font that suits your website style and content. One of the best advantages of using Google Fonts interactive directory feature is that you can quickly preview the fonts you are interested in. All you have to do is click into the field box of the font and type text in it. 
how to add Google Fonts to WordPress using a plugin. For some, the manual integration of WordPress Google Fonts might not be the option. Do not worry, there is another simpler way to add Google Fonts to your WordPress website through a plugin. Now, I will show you how you can integrate Google Fonts in WordPress using the Easy Google Fonts plugin. Step 1. Install and activate the plugin. Log into your WordPress admin panel and navigate to Plugins, Add New, search for Easy Google Fonts and install it on your website. Once the plugin is installed, click the Activate button to begin using it. Step 2. Begin using Google Fonts. Once you activate the plugin to your website, it will automatically enqueue the style sheets for the Google Fonts you choose to use. To get started, head over to Appearance, Customize from the WordPress admin panel. You will notice that a new menu item has been added to the WordPress customizer called Typography. It allows you to control the typography settings to, of your paragraphs and various headings. Let's say you wanted to edit the paragraphs font on your website. The Easy Google Fonts plugin lets you customize its styles, appearance, and position. Let's take a look at the different style options it features. Next, log into your WordPress dashboard and inside Appearance, go to Editor and open up your Active Themes Functions.php file using an FTP client and add the following code to it. You will need to replace the URL with your own. 